Hi, this is Diana, your favorite astronaut. You remember me? I am back. Yes, I am. I am so glad that I am back with all of you. And the only reason why I have been a little bit away from YouTube is because I have been literally taking care of business in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. I have been photographing a lot of targets, specifically lots of star clusters and globular clusters. I have been practicing all the new technique, blur exterminator, mania, colorizing techniques. Let the stars shine. Let the stars be the stars. Star clusters are a large group of stars held together by self-gravitation. Two main types of star clusters can be distinguished, globular clusters and open clusters. Open clusters, also known as galactic clusters, do not have a distinctive shape. Their stars are loosely clustered together. They contain just hundreds of thousands of stars, making them far less dense than globular clusters. And in a double whammy, the double cluster, also known as Cowell 14 C14, open clusters NGC 869 and NGC 884. And this was a lot of fun to photograph. I was able to capture both star clusters together. And also I photographed them individually. This beautiful double cluster is visible. You can see it with the naked eye. And it is 7,500 light years away from Earth. Oh <laughs> my goodness. NGC 2281 is an open cluster of stars in the northern constellation of Auriga. It was discovered by English astronomer William Herschel on March 4, 1788. <laughs> it is located at a distance of approximately 1,720 light years away from the sun, and it is believed that it has 630 to 661 million years old. Oh, <laughs> pretty. NGC 6819, also known as the Foxhead Star Cluster, it's a remote open cluster in Cygnus constellation. It is about 7,200 light years away from Earth, and it, it resembles the head of the fox. <laughs> Repeating, visually, it resembles the head of a fox. <laughs> Stars in globular clusters formed in the early days of the universe, around 10 billion years ago. Globular clusters are a large group of all stars that are closely packed together in a symmetrical shape. The stars in globular clusters are constantly moving. They are orbiting around the center of the cluster. with an estimate age of 14.2 billion years, almost the same age as the universe itself. M92 is one of the oldest clusters known and possibly the single oldest globular in the Milky Way. Messier 13 or M13, also called the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules, is a globular cluster of several hundred thousand stars in the constellation of Hercules. It was discovered in 1714. 1714, really? <laughs> and cataloged by Charles Messier on June 1st, 1764. M13 is very easy to find. It can be located in the constellation of Hercules between summer times two brightest stars, Vega 
and Arturus. It has been exhilarating to photograph these star clusters that are so old, they are like a window into the beginning of our universe. Stay tuned for more your favorite astronaut star clusters photography. Thank you for watching. See you next time.